Good morning, tank chums. Well, it's the A43. Hmm. Hmm. First game in it. I mean, good news. I'm up against tier six tanks. And that is good. Bad news. Um, I'm on airfield, which is a map that I've not ever done particularly well on. And I'm really struggling to see what the A43 has going for it. I mean, okay, good news again. Pretty much everything that's on it, engine, radio, guns, are stuff that I have got from other Russian tanks, which means it's pretty pretty quick in that regards for unlocking. Has got Okay. I tell you what, that gets up to speed bloody quickly. But the downside is I had to spend 5,000 of my free experience to get the suspension upgrade because it turns out you can't mount anything into this tank until you've got the suspension upgrade. Which is a bit poopy, to say the least. But let's see how this compares to a T-3485. I am worried about its gun. It's like a tier 5 gun and this is, I mean, it's not bad, it's just not Playing a tier 6 tank where the best gun you've got is something that you had in the previous tier feels like something of a liability. I mean, like at least the, the Firefly, you start off with crap guns, but you've got the option of unlocking something pretty monstrous. This tank, eh, I don't know. So I think I'm going to have to do some reading about how one goes about playing the A43, because obviously I haven't clue, and it's probably very open from hand driving it. Just sort of driving in a circle, trying to get used to the speed at which it... Well, I spotted him. Again, that counts as something in this game, which is nice. A bit of spotting experience. <laughs> Golly! Well, um, so there you go. Uh, there's the A43 for you. I'm going to go away and do some reading. What have I learned this game? Well, basically a direct hit from an SPG is going to offend and there's not really much I could do about that. Well, see you tomorrow, chaps.